First off, guys, I'd like to congratulate you on making it to Nationals. Um, can you guys kind of expound upon what it feels like to, to make it to that National Championships? Exciting. It's kind of a relief. Yeah, as Jeff said, it's kind of a relief. Second time going, so. Jeff and Asher, you guys both went last season. Have you given any words of advice to Eric for this upcoming year? Um, I mean, I don't know if I have, but if I did, I'd say just keep doing what you're doing. Don't yeah. change anything just because it's nationals. Uh, what has been the most rewarding part of your guys' career since you are seniors? Progressing with these guys. I mean, having them as teammates, mm -hmm. to be honest. That's okay. a, probably the best part, you know? So. Yeah. yeah, I just love wrestling. I love being able to compete so much and do it all these weekends and then being able to do it at an event as cool as nationals. I'm just really appreciative of all that. And I just had a great time doing it the last two years. Uh, I think it's pretty cool that he's a fifth year senior. I'm a fifth year senior. Eddie's been here, was here Year, you know, a few years before us. Stone Age. <laughs> Just a little bit before. You know, this is our last, uh, our last kind of like uh, our last shot, and we're going and just gonna have fun. You know, wrestling at Brockport has been great for the last couple of years. So. Who has been your biggest fan throughout your experience as a Golden Eagle? On the team or coach or whatever. Who has been your biggest Honestly, fan out of the, anybody? The person that runs through my mind is. A lot. It's probably Coach J. I mean, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. Coach Wise would answer. You know, he sticks in my head a lot. You know, so. All right. Uh, what will it take for you guys to become or to be on that wall behind you right now, the All American wall? What do you think it'll Focus, take? Focus, good rest, and preparation. To represent our abilities. Yep, that's it. Just, Just be yourself. Uh, keep doing what we've been doing, and you know, every match is going to be. It's going to be a grind. Just got to be ready for it. Yeah, just got to be ready to go. That's it. Have you guys had a chance to talk to any of the previous All-Americans? Uh, Coach Cruz, you know. Yeah. yeah. Talk to him. Talk to uh, I've talked to All-Americans, like, in the past few yeah, years. Yeah, I have mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Years, just, you know, just, they all just tell me to have fun and just, you know. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. What we're doing. Good. Yeah. Um, here's an interesting question for you guys. Uh, sometimes it's difficult to judge your own style of wrestling, so I want you guys to describe each other's wrestling styles. Okay. Like, um, Eric, why don't you do Jeff? Asher, you do Eric, and then uh, Jeff, Jeff will do Asher. Jeff is very... You know, I wish I had his body and <laughs> arms because I would shoot a mile away. He has the reach and he has a really good inside leg trip which people don't see coming. Mm -hmm. but he has a really ortho, like unorthodox style, and it's great, and that's what makes him good. So that's that's his strong, and if he does that in Nationals, he's gonna be on that wall. So, you know, that's that's that. <laughs> Jeff, what do you say about uh, Asher? Asher, um, I would say his wrestling style is really tough. Um, he grinds out matches. He's real good at, at the basics. And, you know, really heavy hips and guys don't really want to wrestle him because he just brings it every time. Asher, what do you think about Eric's? Eric, probably one of the scrappiest guys that I've been in the room with. Um, very quick. Uh, whenever I wrestle with him, I'd probably say we've been in a few tussles. <laughs> he's, he's, definitely, uh, he's definitely fun to wrestle with. And then Jeff is, Jeff is like more I guess slick, kind of just, um, he's got the reach and he's just got the, you know, his technique's pretty sound too, so. Just to kind of wrap it up, do you guys have any uh, fans, family, friends, coaches that you'd like to thank for before you go to Nationals? Yep, I would like to thank Asher and Jeff. I would like to thank Coach Jay, Coach Cruz, Coach Murray especially. <laughs> All the guys on the team, Nieves, Dylan Stoll, Donnie McCoy, Jackson Bell, everybody, they're all part of the reason why I'm here. Coach Gross, my brother, Joseph Velez. Who's the list at? <laughs> my fiance, Chris O'Daniels, who I love very much, and my kids, and my father. And that's all I can think of. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a long line. 
you know, it's just been a process for a lot of years, going back to high school with all my high school coaches, guys at Buffalo that I trained with and taught me, guys I trained with at Cornell this summer, and then everyone at Brockport here. Just every, I don't know, a long time, but yeah, everyone's played a part in getting me where I am. Yeah, sure. Uh, just everyone. I mean, the rest was since I was five, so just everyone that has helped me along the way. All these guys, everyone that's been on the team with me since 2011. You know, Coach Murray, Coach Jay, my family. Coach Cruz has helped me significantly. Uh, Dr. Gonzalez, sports psychologist here, has done a lot of good things with me in the last few weeks. Just can't uh, can't help, uh, thank him enough. Perfect. Thank you guys so much, and good luck in nationals. Thank you. Thank you.